Hi everyone, uh, this is Yunus here. I'm the president of the Association of Science, Technology and Innovation, uh, ASTI. Uh, welcome to the briefing of Green Makers Challenge at American Cornell. Uh, so the purpose of this briefing is just to give you a, an overview of what Green Makers Challenge is and uh, the kind of inventions that we're looking for. Uh, so I try to make the briefing as short as possible. A lot of the information that you need are already in our website. Uh, uh, so please go to our website and uh, have a look at all of those. Uh, but again, this briefing is just to give you a, an overview of what Green Market Challenge is. Okay. So uh, Green Market Challenge uh, is a program that we're doing it this year, uh, ASTI in collaboration with the American Embassy in Kuala Lumpur, uh, American Corners, uh, and also the Institute Pendidikan Guru Malaysia, IPGM, under the Ministry of Education. So this is a collaborative project that we are running this, this year. Okay. Uh, so what is Green Makers Challenge? It's basically a, 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 a challenge uh, that uh, is hoping to expose young students uh, to the world of innovation and invention in a very hands-on manner, right? Uh, and we are planning to do it via our boot camp, right? Uh, uh, in which we would teach you certain core skills that will help you become uh, good inventors and innovators, right? Uh, and again, uh, we are looking at green-based technology. So uh, we want you to come up with a product which has a positive impact on the environment, right? Uh, so again, the objective, uh, as I said, this program is very much training intensive uh, in which we will we are hoping to teach the participants uh, creative critical thinking uh, and also design thinking, uh, and also to be able to develop uh, the communication skills to be able to communicate your ideas well, uh, and also to help you work as a team, which is very important. And also we are hoping that when you participate in this competition, you become a proactive uh, change maker, right? Uh, in other words, uh, when we, you, you look at a problem and an issue, uh, you're not the kind of person that will just complain about it, but you would go out and actually do something about it. So that's what we are hoping uh, Green Makers Challenge, the journey of Green Makers Challenge would make you become a positive change maker, right? Uh, the target group, uh, if you are a student uh, in secondary school age, 14 to 16, you can participate in the competition. Uh, we encourage students uh, who are female or who are from the B40 community, uh, uh, and also uh, indigenous community and refugee students are very much encouraged to uh, participate in this competition, right? Uh, we, have, we are also trying to work with uh, some nonprofit organization that work with the urban poor areas like uh, PPRT flats to get uh, students from PPRT flats to also uh, participate in the competition. Uh, this is a team-based competition. So you have to participate, you have to be a team of at least three to five students. Uh, uh, and uh, participants will be from all over Malaysia Right, you anywhere as long as you're in Malaysia, you can participate. Uh, but the boot camp will happen in those states that you see: Johor, Melaka, Pahang, Sabah, Sarawak, Penang, Perlis, uh, Kedah, uh, Kelantan, and Selangor. Right. So this is the uh, uh, competition. And how do you participate? So there are several steps to participate. First, you have to register. Uh, then you uh, should participate in the web webinar series. So we'll be running a couple of webinars uh, to give you an introduction on what the environment is and how important the environment is and how can you be a change maker in the environment area. So you should participate in that. Uh, and then uh, you are supposed to come up with an idea uh, on how an idea for an invention that will help uh, the environment. So, I mean, it will have a positive impact on the environment, right? At your community level, national level, or even international level. Now for this stage in step three, you only have to come up with a proposal, not a working prototype. 
you submit the proposal to us uh, at the link you see uh, after which you would uh, after you have submitted to us the judges will go through the proposals and they will shortlist five to eight teams from each state to then participate in the uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, the program so the the first part of the program would be uh, to come for the boot camp boot, boot camp two day boot camp right uh at the uh, states that i mentioned before uh after the two-day boot, uh, boot camp you then go for a state level competition uh so the boot camp will happen for two days and then there'll be a mentor will help you through the process of turning your ideas you know your proposals into working prototypes right so the mentor is just supposed to it'll most probably via phone calls and all that so they'll encourage you and if you have any questions will be able to give you advice on how to turn your or or, or or to help you you know to turn your proposal into an uh into the end product which is the working prototype right after which you have once you've got the working prototype in place you have to come for the state level competition uh, which will probably be at the same place where the boot camp is, but uh, the, we will uh, inform you that they, for now the tentative dates and locations are already in the website. So have a look at those. Uh, and after the state level competition, the top two teams will then be invited to participate in the national level uh, online competition. Uh, after which the uh, the winners from the national level competition will be announced in October 2023. Uh, now this uh, we we always say it's not about winning in all our programs. It's not about winning. It's about participating. So please do come and participate. Please do send in your proposals so that we can have a look at your this thing, your ideas, right? Uh, so this is the website. If you go to the ASTI website. Uh, uh, you will have all the information at the all the information that I speak about and your registration details and uh, submission details all there. So please have a look through uh, our Green Makers Challenge web, uh, web page in the ASTI website. Right uh, now, I want to now quickly go through some samples in uh, inventions or innovation that we are looking for. Right. We're not looking for something extremely complex or expensive. We're looking for simple, simple solutions, which can be implemented easily. Right. So that are the kind of things which is important. It's not something which is extremely complex. So I'll give you some samples of inventions that has been done by other competitions. The other competitions that we run by students from uh, different parts of Malaysia. Uh, and you can get an idea of the kind of inventions that we're looking at. So this is uh, one invention. Uh, it's called the uh, uh, hook and loop pot or the agro pot, right? Uh, which is a team from Johor participated in the Young Inventors Challenge 10 years ago. Uh, and this is their invention, right? So it's a very simple invention. So if you know in, uh, in uh, what do you call in uh, nurseries you know agri agro nurseries let's say you want to go and buy a, a plant right so you know what they do the, the the plant there'll be soil and then there'll be a small plant and then that that plant will be in a poly bag right which is a plastic bag right uh, the soil which houses the plant is in a poly bag right now of course when you take it back home uh, when you cut the bag you have to cut the bag and transfer the soil together with the plant to your garden and what happens to the plastic bag is it gets thrown away right so what they came up with uh, so that it's not a single use plastic so they came up with what's called the uh, agro pot in which all they did was they took a coke bottle 1.5 liter coke bottle cut it in half like this and cut it in half again that way and then they join it together with velcro uh, velcro stickers and what happens is when now when you buy the plant and when you go home uh, all you need to do is open the pot up open the bag up uh, empty it into the garden and then you can stick it back and reuse the 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 pot right instead of before plastic you have to cut the plastic and throw away the plastic here you don't have to so you get to reuse you know uh, you know in the environment they call it the three r's right reduce reuse and uh, recycle 
So here it's uh, they go on the principles of reusing, right? So that is uh, the basis of the I invention. And this team won second prize at the Young Inventors Challenge. And they went on to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think they went to Korea and won uh, a gold medal as well there. So you can see it's not uh, how complex your idea is. It could be something extremely simple. This invention only costs 50 cents to make, right? Because the Velcro stickers, you can go to any hard fair shop and buy for 50 cents or one ringgit. That's all, That's all it takes. So, uh, and they managed to win. So it's not the how complex or how expensive your idea is. It's about how is your thinking and how impactful it is on the environment and how simple it is. You know, as they say, sometimes simple is always, the simplest solution is always the best solution. And it's easy to implement, you know, anyone can implement. I mean, you can implement this in your daily life, right? So that's one example. Let's look at another example. Uh, this is uh, a food separator. So, you know, when you go to canteen and then they give you, give you your food in a, in a plate and then the plate just gets thrown or the plate is left for washing, but then there's all this food on the uh, leftover food on, the, on the, this thing and the food is washed together with the plate. And of course the food goes into the drain and then it clogs up the drain. And then you create a lot of environmental issues because of that. Right. So what this does is, uh, to give you a very brief this thing, you, you put the plate on the top and then when you press the thing, it will fall down in a way in which the food is separated from the plate. So the food goes into a bin, into a, like a plastic bag, and then the plate is then left this side. So the plate is washed, but what is left, you know, the organic waste, you know, your leftover food is then used for composting. So here's another example in which uh, you do not waste. So again, it's an idea of uh, reduce, you know, in the three hours, this uses the principle of reduce, right? Uh, here's another example. Uh, now this is uh, generation, a new gen farming. So this team uh, from Damansara, they came up with uh, an automated farm, which they themselves can grow. So they can grow vegetables, in their school, right? And they came up with this one. So this one is a little bit more, there's a lot of technologies here. There's a lot of, uh, of course, cost-wise is a lot because you've got robotics, you've got water systems and all that. So cost-wise, this is a bit distinct, uh, but it's a good idea as well. So that's why I'm saying, so the, the simplest was the agro pot, which is just one plastic bag. I mean, one Coke bottle and Velcro sticker. This is the more on the other end, the more complex one, in which you've got uh, automation, you've got hydraulics uh, systems, water systems, and you've got some robotics as well, right? So here's another example in which they build a farm in their uh, school, right? Uh, let's look at another example, right? Uh, here is, uh, this is from Thailand, uh, Princess Chula Longkorn University from Thailand. Uh, and they came up with a filtering oil tank system. So here, uh, the invention is to filtrate water from wastewater, right? So, you know, uh, a lot of uh, food items or any items has got a lot of oil in it, right? So uh, this oil, when you clean, let's say you are cleaning your your after cooking, you're cleaning your your cooking plate or whatever, there's a lot of oil in it. And the oil sticks together with the water. And then again, it goes into the drainage system and plots out the drainage system. And you have a lot of environmental issues there as well. So what this invention is trying to do is to separate the water from the oil so that the oil is treated separately uh, and the water is then uh, uh, discarded safely into the drain rather than to discard oil into the drain. So here's another example. So it's a simple system. It's not as complex as you think. Although the solution uh, the, uh, is, is a very amazing solution to be able to you know, uh, take oil away from uh, water, but it's still a simple solution. This is another solution from Chungling uh, on, on waste also on waste, uh, but this is a system in which they are able to, uh, what do you call, uh, 
uh, separate ways, right? Into plastics, metal, and paper. So the main, uh, again, the main idea behind this is to, uh, you know, one of the main reasons why we separate waste is for recycling, right? So again, the three R, this particular invention is focusing on recycling, where in which you are, when you separate your waste, you can recycle the paper into other paper products, you can recycle the metal, and you can also recycle the plastic. So those are the examples uh, in which you can uh, you can come up with uh, you can you, to give you an idea on the kind of inventions or solutions that you can find. Uh, one easy example is for you to just go to the school canteen or go to your school and look at an issue or a problem in the school. Let's say, for example, your your uh, in your school your your drain always gets clogged up. So then you already got an, a problem, an issue. And then maybe you can form a team and then uh, what do you call brainstorm on how to solve that problem and, and then uh, write that up and then send it to us to evaluate but remember that one of the criteria is it has to have a positive impact on the environment so please no mention how your in your proposal uh, when you submit your proposal how your invention is having a positive impact on the environment so that's all, guys. So with that, uh, I think I may uh, end my briefing. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please do call us uh, uh, or email us or uh, go to our website. And that's a website uh, thing I told you about, uh, asti, www.asti.org.my backslash GMC2023. And here's where you get all the information uh, any modules that you need is all there. So please visit that website often, right? So with that, thank you guys. And we look forward to your proposals and good luck participating. Bye.